Hi everyone, welcome to another design lesson video. In each video, I'm going to review some key design principles that you should keep in mind when you're thinking about renovating or decorating your space. So if you have a design dilemma and need some answers, feel free to comment in the section below with your questions. Your dilemma could become one of these design lesson videos right here. Or if you need individual help from me for a renovation you're working on, find me on Patreon. Hey everyone, I've started a Patreon account. If you'd like to follow me there or become a patron, I would appreciate that very, very much. You can find the link in the description below, or you can just head over to patreon.com slash design Thanks for watching and supporting my channel. In the meantime, let's get to today's topic. The last design lesson video focused on key strategies to make your space lighter and brighter. It was all about lighter color palettes, reflective surfaces, and increasing light inside the space. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, I'll link the video below. But there's also huge value and interest in making spaces that are cozy and inviting. And you know what? it's not just the opposite of lighter and brighter strategies. In fact, cozy can mean lots of things. It can be relaxed and beachy, it can be dark and moody, and it can be something in between. So I've got four areas to focus on. These will determine what your type of cozy comfort means to you. So sit back and get cozy with me. One of the easiest ways to increase the warm and cozy vibes in your home is to add layers, texture, and patterns to your spaces. Area rugs are a great way to start, one small step in warming things up. Just here in this hallway, a simple runner adds warmth to the space as well as color and comfort. You can even be quite literal by layering rugs in a space. The added extra layer makes the room instantly more cozy and warm. I love adding an area rug over top of a larger rug like this. The layering also provides two different opportunities for texture and pattern. One rug offers up a slightly different texture or pattern than the other. If you want a space to feel more open and bright, minimize the items on your shelves. But if you want the opposite, then books are the way to go. Case in point, two rooms, similar to each other in color and light, but do you see the difference? Books just add a whole new layer of warmth. I'm not even sure why. It could be the textures or patterns or just that they fill up the spaces on shelves. But if you've got lots of books on your shelves, you can bet your room is leaning towards the warm and cozy side. And speaking of texture, think of ways all the surfaces in a space can add to the look of warmth and coziness. Paneling and wainscoting adds layers to the room. Drapery can also give you additional layers for that cozy look. Opt for drapery panels and sheer drapes for that extra layer of fabric and texture in the room. They also let you control the amount of lighting coming into the room from the windows. Here, adding pillows and throws with different textures is key. A velvet pillow on a chair, the shears in the window drapery, the linen blind, the natural rug, the warm metals in the lighting, the patterns in the chair fabric, and that beautiful veining in the marble fireplace mantle. All of these materials play a part in creating various textures, colors, and patterns. They all play a part in making it a very cozy room. Here, books and more books are a total warm and cozy magician. Mixed with a dark and moody fireplace mantle, wood ceiling beams, and that brick. All of those textures are working together to make this space super inviting. A mix of patterns also makes things more busy, more involved. A strong sense of pattern and color will add layers visually to your space. So it's not just about adding pillows and throws, it's about adding layers, textures, and patterns. In the light and bright rooms video, a lighter color palette was my number one way to make a room feel lighter and brighter. So it would be logical that a darker, deeper, and warmer color palette would add comfort and coziness to a room. And yes, that's true. But I don't want you to think it's the most important way to do this. So it's not my number one in this video. There's no reason you have to pick dark colors for a cozy room. You can get a cozy appeal with so many other ways. So stay tuned for more. But if you are into having a moody and warmer color palette, then this option is for you. You'll want to focus on advancing and warmer colors on the color wheel. These colors feel like they advance forward instead of where cooler colors fall backwards away from you. Advancing colors surround and envelop. They really fill up the space. Intensity is key. 
look for deeper, darker colors to make the space feel warm and inviting, intriguing and comforting. Dark colors absorb light and it's much easier to make things moody and cozy with a darker color palette. Another strategy to make a room cozier is to paint the ceiling dark. Again, in the other video about brightening up spaces, painting a ceiling white is key. You can check out some great examples in that video of dark and light ceilings. So I won't spend too much time here. Just know that if you have high ceilings and you want the room to feel more intimate, paint the ceiling dark. You can also select key walls or elements for a jolt of color to make the room feel warmer instead of painting the whole room dark. And of course, your floors can dictate whether a room is dark or light. They reflect or absorb tons of light in the room. So darker floors will definitely make the room feel darker and cozier than lighter floors. But again, I don't like to focus too much on the floors because you can always add a dark area rug or a light area rug depending on what you're trying to achieve. But you should definitely include wood tones for a warmer and cozier room. Rustic wood inherently feels warmer, worn, and enduring. So you may want to include some touches, like wood beams in the ceiling, a fireplace mantle, an antique chest. So remember, a darker, moodier palette is a great way to make a room cozy and inviting. But it's not the only way. Add wood and be strategic about dark colors and you'll get to a cozy living space too. Of course, lighting plays a huge role in making a space brighter, but does that mean it shouldn't play a role in cozier rooms? I mean, no lighting just means you have a dark room. That's not necessarily cozy and inviting. Lighting actually plays a huge part in establishing the atmosphere in the room. You'll want lighting that is soft and indirect versus the bright light for a brighter and lighter space. So it's not just about having less light in the room. It's the type of light and the color of the light that is most important in establishing a warm and cozy feeling. Consider this room. Soft lighting hidden in bookcases is a great way to create warmth. This type of lighting is called indirect lighting. You can't see the source of the light, but you see the glow of light. It's an overall spread of light. This is a great example of soft and indirect lighting. And remember, the color of the light is key here too, like the warm glow of a fire in a fireplace. One of the most important aspects of lighting in a cozy and inviting room is the color of the light or what is known as the color temperature. The bulbs in your light fixtures will have a range of color temperatures. And if you want your room to be cozy, look for warm white bulbs versus daylight bulbs. Warm white bulbs are more yellow, more golden, more glowy. Daylight bulbs tend towards more blue and cooler shades of white light. They just look a lot brighter and are perfect for rooms where you want the feeling to be brighter and lighter. So for cozy and inviting, stick to this end of the scale. Another important strategy in lighting up a cozy room is making sure you can dim the lighting in the room. Adding dimmers is a great way to do that, especially for pot lights in the ceiling. Pot lights or can lights, as some of my American viewers call them, are quite directional. They generally provide directed light down from the ceiling. By adding a dimmer to the lights, you can control the amount of light emitting from the bulbs. And controlling light is a great way to establish the cozy vibes in a room. So check with an electrician. Dimmers can generally be added after the fact and they add so much to the atmosphere of the room. Diffused lighting is another way to think about lighting in your spaces. Light fixtures with linen or paper shades that cover the light bulb, but allow light to glow through are great examples of diffused lighting. And they do exactly that. They diffuse or soften the light coming from the bulb. Something like this drum shade. Not only is the light shaded with the drum shade all around, notice the diffuser panel on the underside. The light coming out from the top and bottom is diffused. Noguchi style paper shades also do the same thing. They diffuse the light. And here, going back to a darker palette for a second, notice how this room is certainly a dark and moody room, but it's the layers and textures that really make the room inviting. And when the lights are turned on, they are warm and glowy and they make the room feel quite cozy, not just dark. 
Clearly, more bright light makes the room brighter. More diffused, dimmed, or softened light makes the room warm, cozy, and inviting. Furniture is such a key component to a warm and cozy room. The size, shape, and look of furniture needs to all look like it's comfortable and cozy. In rooms where you want the feeling to be bright and light, you want some pieces to look more lightweight visually with open arms and open backs so that you can see through and around them. That makes it feel like the room is more open, more bright. But with rooms where you want more of a warm and cozy atmosphere, then you'll want furniture that looks more plush, more visually heavy, and more cushy. Cushy, it's a technical term. So here's what I mean. For more open and bright rooms, you might consider this open arm side chair in your living room. But for a more comfortable and cozy room, you may want a fully upholstered chair like this instead. Furniture generally should look and feel more comfortable. Large oversized sectionals are great because they provide lots of room for seating and lounging. Look for sofas where you can easily curl up on the sofa. Deeper seats, loose pillows, softer lines, curved profiles. All of these things make the sofa more comfortable to sit in, but they also make the sofa look like it's comfortable to sit in. That visual appeal makes a difference. Here's another comparison. Couches should look cushy. Here, the base, the seat cushion, and some back cushions all look plush and soft and comfy. Instead, a sofa with exposed legs, one long bench cushion, and a tight back, it just doesn't look cushy. You know how you eat with your eyes first? It's the same idea. Making something look comfy and inviting is the first step in feeling like you're living in a cozy and comfortable room. You may even want furniture that is made for lounging, like these oversized chairs. Sometimes they're called a chair and a half. I can hear that one calling me. Another key part about furniture in cozy rooms, the texture of the fabric can make or break the atmosphere. Many may assume a leather couch would add some cozy vibes, but a leather couch on its own isn't enough. It can look a little intimidating to sit on. It can also look like it's too precious to sit on. That's not really inviting at all. Adding pillows and throws with lots of texture is key to making a leather sofa really cozy and cushy looking. And of course, add loads of other textures and patterns around it and you've got a really cozy room. But it's not just the leather sofa, it's everything together. And finally, the other thing to remember when it comes to furniture for a cozy room is all the other pieces outside of the larger primary pieces of furniture. Side tables, coffee tables, and accessories are all important in making a room feel cozy and inviting. Things like oversized planters add interest to a corner. Add in large scale plants and that helps too. Group antique or vintage items to create a small vignette in the corner. Tuck extra pieces like this console table behind a sofa and add accessories. Large or even oversized lighting can make the room feel more full and you guessed it, more cozy. And don't forget, filling your walls with large pieces of art, a great way to invite more interest and comfort into a space. Just be selective and intentional. Cozy comes in many forms. So here's your takeaway. Making a space feel cozy and inviting can be achieved several ways, and the end result can be quite different as well. Cozy can be layers, textures, and patterns all playing a role in making a space feel more inviting and comfortable, while a darker, moodier color palette is a surefire way to make the space warm and inviting. Lighting should be soft and diffused, and natural light should be controlled with shears and drapery. And finally, the look and feel of furniture determines just how comfy the room actually is. Look for softer, rounder, and plushier pieces signaling a cozy and inviting atmosphere. Just remember, filling your space with comfort doesn't mean filling your space with clutter, so be intentional with your choices. Thanks for watching my latest design lesson video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and if you need individualized help from me, find me on Patreon. If you have any design questions, let me know in the comments below, and it could be the topic of our next video. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.